Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be going over Microsoft Publisher 2016 and I'm going to show you how to create a publication to a custom size. Let's go ahead and get started. So in this example here I'm going to go to Microsoft Publisher and I'll go in the featured area and you should see this right when you enter into Publisher, this top left template here. It's blank 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, your standard portrait landscape paper. And if I click this it will open up that sheet of paper and it has all of Microsoft Publisher default colors, fonts, and themes. Now in this example that I'm going to show you, I'm going to be creating a mailer. And so this is something that I want to mail out. Often these are uh, things that uh, are not your standard paper size. So I'm going to set this up with a custom size and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So first thing that you're going to need to do is go to the page design tab. It's right up here. You click on page design and then within the page setup group you're going to see this button right here that says size. As soon as you click on size it's going to give you a bunch of different options. Now I've already created one called mailer right here but you could see this is one that I've already created. You could see all of the built-in ones below. Now if I want to go to a brand new size I'll go right down here and it'll say create new page size and so I'll go ahead and click that and I'll just call this one coupon. Okay, so I click on coupon and now I what I'll do is I'll go ahead and look over here at this layout type. Now if I'm just going to have one coupon on this uh, on this uh, publication here, then I do not want multiple pages per sheet. So I could click this layout area and change this to one page per sheet. And so as soon as I click that, all the options down here will go away. And so now we're focusing on one page per sheet. Now this option shows page size of 8.5 by 11 by default. Again, that's because I chose that template coming into this. So what I'm going to do now is change the page size right over here with the uh, width and height area. So let's say that I want this publication instead of being 8.5 by 11, I'm going to choose 7.75 for the width and I'll press tab after that and you'll see that over here here in the preview, the page got just a little bit thinner. And then over here for the height, I'm just going to make the height 5 inches. And then I'll press tab. And you'll see that that will make the mailer the correct size. So this is what I'm going to mail out. And then right over here, I could change the margins either by clicking the up or down arrows or if I want, say, a custom margin of uh, a quarter inch for each one. You can see the preview right over here as I change the top margin to a 0.25 and I press tab and I continue to do that, you'll see the margin guides will change along the preview. And then when I get finished there, I press OK. And now you can see that Publisher goes in and redoes the size of the sheet. So now I can go ahead and work with this custom page size and, and I could create my coupon exactly as I want it. So you could also see that over here in that size button that now coupon shows up right there. So every time you open up Publisher after this, you should see it, assuming that you're using a home computer that saves your custom sizes. So hopefully this video has helped you out and it's shown you how to change your publication sizes. If this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. And if you want to learn more about Publisher, make sure you check out my Microsoft Publisher playlist. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.